he was frantically telling us we were making history. Frantically. Mm -hmm. We're making history tonight. This is history tonight. Mm -hmm. Pur Purple Rain, when the idea of the movie came from him, when he talked about doing this and when a whole bunch of strangers started showing up at our warehouse, we all realized this is going so, this is, we didn't, this is not just chat. This is happening. And we were like, uh, uh, uh. So it felt like, it almost felt, I don't know, it felt scary. And I was ambivalent at first about like, what is happening here? And where is he? And why is he not at, at rehearsal right now? And it was, but it felt like it wasn't a mistake. It didn't feel like it was a fool's paradise at all. It really felt like, oh, it's a sure, this is a sure thing. Because he hired these individuals who are, we came to the picture sort of like with singular personalities and sort of self-possessed in our own lives. That translated to each one of our personalities with an instrument. Bobby was always the gentleman and put together, and that reflected in his absolute pocket, meat and potatoes, four on the floor, drumming. Sturdy Lisa, ethereal person, sort of walks on air, whispers when she talks. Her music sounds that way. Matt, he's, he is like a doctor. And he's, you know, he's, you know, he's like got a bit jerkiness. And, he's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and he can play his keyboard and get from the left side of the 88 keys all the way to the right side faster than any human being. And he's like a, he's a hummingbird. And this one is the sexy, gorgeous, just like all-encompassing, curious flirt. And that's how his bass sounds. So <clears throat> that dish... That became song. Purple Rain from this group of cooks with our master chef. <laughs> he never doubted it. Right. Did everybody else around him? He, he, sure. Every, he, what are we <laughs> doing? Why are we doing ballet lessons? This is a rock and roll I movie. enjoyed the James Bond workout. He was, of, course he was a, of course he did. The, 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 he the took dance, it serious. <laughs> the dance Matt instructor had it, the... Yes, had of the, course what, he would. What's that? <laughs> You were a very good ballet dancer. You well, were so, your pirouette your was pirouette. Oh, I, I, I was doing some Broadway dance routines with the, the choreographer oh, just to kind of <laughs> learn it, you know, and it was a lot of fun. I, I'd go we in there and... Jazz. He was teacher's pet. Yeah, the, I, I was. The, I, the rest I really, of the time I really embraced was, was... the dancing. But you have to imagine really the drummer did. from the he time, really Jelly Bean too. Johnson, he's like six foot four, and he wears like a stove mm -hmm. top mm -hmm. hat, right? Wearing his big old trench coat doing pirouettes across the floor. <laughs> it was like, what yeah. are we doing? A grand jeté. Like a grand jeté. Yeah. And his acting, you know, he that, you know, he created this character that we'd see dailies, you know, so he, he was convincing us to be better and better and better. He had people on the tour to back up. They were on our 1999 tour, he had people observing us on the bus. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. there were strangers on the bus, <laughs> like getting jokes and learning our personality. And, you know, it was like a big brother kind of a shadowing thing. And uh, it, all this data and information was being gathered about us to create characters. Mm -hmm. We had acting class, we had ballet class, we had, you know, and Prince participated in these classes with us. And it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, he got us to relax, yeah. our, you know, because your facial facial features, everything. He it was really, he prepared for Purple Rain in a way that he never did any other album because he had to, because the film slowed him down and that mm -hmm. created time for him to reflect on most albums he was done in a second you know three weeks done you know and but purple rain had to stew for about six months and so it created he really had to think about it he could replace tracks he came up with the beautiful ones at the last minute there was there was things that happened that made it what it is today and it was forced patience on him yeah uh, for sure one thing a lot of people don't realize about him is uh, he lived and breathed what he did when I first joined the band, that my first assignment, before I even picked up a guitar, was in his living room, looking at myself in the mirror eight hours a day. <laughs> and he would tell me how to stand. He said, no, put your foot, pivot your foot that way. You know, okay, now turn your cheek to and do this. Get your shoulder up, bend your shoulder back. You know, and I felt like, you know, I was like, oh. Um, but that's how he trained me, you know. And then I got it got to a point where 
I would be out at a club somewhere and I'd be standing, you know, I'd have this pose and people would come up to me, Mark, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you standing like that? And I didn't even know I was doing it. See, he would condition you like that. The more you rehearse, the more you don't think about it, the less you think about it, and then the more fun you have. And that was the key to the revolution. We didn't think about it. He would throw up these cues, you know, and we knew every marker, we knew every cue, and we would hit it. Just bam, bam. We knew right where to hit. We didn't think about it. We dance, spin, <laughs> split, jumping off risers. And you we... did most of that. <laughs> I was terrible at that. The, that night at First Avenue was um, a foreshadowing for sure because there were at least three tracks that ended up being the you know the recorded versions for the album. And you, I mean, it was my first show. It was my first show with the band. Best advice I've ever gotten that I share with other musicians when they're starting. He said to me, when I get nervous and you hear the beat and you hear the rhythm and you hear how fast we're going, cut your body in half time. So if you're feeling one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, 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 if you're nervous, you're gonna be pushing the beat, right? He said, Go halftime one, two, and it's like a it's a meditation. You slow oh. your breathing down, and you don't rush, <clears throat> and you stay behind the beat, and that's where funk lies. And that was the best advice he ever gave me. That's how far ahead he was in the game. You know, Purple Rain, he's already miles ahead of all of us. Miles ahead. Yeah. As far as the storyline in Purple Rain about Lisa and I, and whether or not you know. You, the, you, know, you never listened to our music, did you? And you never, you know, that was never the case. No, he, he listened wanted to hear to yeah. everything yeah, Lisa and I like did. Plenty everything, everything you're doing. Everything. <laughs> yeah, what did you do? What was Whatever that? What was that? Yeah. What are you doing? I How dreamed you wrote a song, exactly. play it for me. You know, it's just yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> when Darling Nikki was a big talking point, the, I don't think he paid attention to whether or not Tipper Gore thought his lyrics were salacious no. or wrong for kids. She helped him sell a lot of exactly. records. Exactly. I don't think he thought much about it. Um, I think later in life, his relationship to, and this, this is only my intuition, but I, I think he, he just grew away from t wanting to explore that side of himself and didn't sing about it anymore. So, I mean... I don't necessarily mm -hmm. think that he thought Darling Nikki was a bad song. As a matter of fact, I think he loved it. Loved it. What was that whole, is the water warm enough? What does that mean? <laughs> Are you gay? Mm. That's what it meant. <laughs> Do you want to get in the bathtub with oh. me, Lisa? Or Are we lovers? I think that, you know. Princess I didn't Justin. even, I didn't know it then. Did you know it? I mean, here, here say this. Yeah, was, will you say this? Okay. He was nervous when he asked. <laughs> he, there was he always like, be, "Are they gay? Are they idea. not?" Mm, so, and he was he was working that angle. Another fantasy episode going on in his brain that he he got the public sucked in. You know, sexual suggestive lyrics were part of his early core to mm -hmm. you know yeah. he, he, to the end. So, Wendy, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Mark, Sorry. is the water warm enough? <laughs> no, I need it hotter. <laughs> Can you pass the shampoo? <laughs> I have a ducky. <laughs> oh, no.